Katie. Well, he was paralyzed in a car accident during the winter storm in South Texas, and now he's already standing on his feet. 16-year-old Ernie Martinez landed at a unique center at University Hospital, and doctors there are just amazed at his recovery so far. This week, he was finally discharged from the rehab center, in great part due to an incredible piece of technology. This is never how star high school athlete 16 year old Ernie Martinez ever imagined himself. And there was a little block of ice and um, we kind of shifted to the left, then right, then left again, then we went under the ditch and then we started flipping. And I don't remember flying up, but I remember being in the air, seeing the floor and then I passed out. And February 14th, he almost lost his life on the icy roads of Laredo, where he's from. He woke up at University Hospital in San Antonio. I couldn't feel my legs or anything under my, my chest. I told him he had injured his spine. There's a spinal cord that runs through the spine. And that spinal cord helps the brain communicate with the rest of the body. Dr. Jeannie Hardin is the director of the University Hospital's Pediatric Inpatient Rehabilitation Unit, which just opened in October 2019. It's the only center of its kind in South Texas, allowing severely injured children to accomplish the impossible. One, two, three, push through your hands. Other doctors said Ernie may never walk again, yet here he is thanks to a wearable machine called the exoskeleton. It allows patients to stand and walk, which stretches Ernie's muscles and puts pressure on his bones, preserving bone health, preparing him to one day walk on his own. Try to just think about a straight line, and like you're kicking a soccer ball. That he can do, and there's no doubt in his mind, he'll be doing it for real sometime in the future. I just want my legs back. I'm gonna get them soon. They're just asleep but the exoskeleton will help me get them back. Going home. Yeah. A strong teenager right there. Ernie's family wants other people with spinal cord injuries to know attitude and support really matter and improvement is possible.